The company got hacked and lost $60 million. My name is Andrew Valentine. I am an audio visual artist and a musician, and I also create art scenes in Japan. After meeting some of my friends in New York, I really decided to start making digital art because I don't really know how to draw. I can't really draw, uh, but I really enjoy colors and I really enjoy photography and I really enjoy kind of making the images uh, in my brain that either are triggered by music or my experiences. So I like to gather all those experiences together. And now in Tokyo, the, the main thing I do is um, is I still write my electronic music, but now I, I make my background visuals, which is, I think, uh, the thing that's most interesting to me is the, the, the combination of the audio and visual. What I like to do is um, take video from around Tokyo, and then and I'll use it to modify the video. Um, what the kind of theme I'm interested in currently um, is it's 2023, and I think our humanity is slowly being eroded by the technology we use. I think it's a pretty common theme. I don't think it's a very unique thing, but it's something that really interests me. And all around us right now, there's electricity flying around, sending information around, you know, from satellites. And all the things that happen on the internet, they actually create a feedback loop in the real world that kind of corrupts. I, don't, I wouldn't say corrupts, but it, the feedback loop changes how we think and live our lives in massive ways. So I'll use this tool to kind of warp this video of real life, and then I'll, I'll put some other colors in it, um, and I'll basically edit some of these videos uh, to match the songs I write, which is mainly electronic music. So, and then uh, when I play live, I will, sometimes it'll be actually auto-reactive live, and sometimes it'll be a pre-made video, and then I play my bass, in my, and I'll, uh, I have a controller I play live. So that's basically my process. Uh, it's fun. There's a lot of fun things I get to try um, that I'm trying to do to really find out what kind of way I like to express myself. I'm born in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, they actually had Japanese class in my high school there. And so I took Japanese there um, for a few years. It wasn't that serious to studying. I actually remember when I was uh, taking test sometimes the kanji tests were, were too hard so i'd cheat sometimes i'd i'd roll my leg up and i'd write the kanji on my leg but now i can read it all for real so it's okay i did a homestay in tokyo for two months and i actually went to a school here and that had a, a huge influence on me i basically was able to come see a completely different kind of country to mine and that had a huge influence on me on continuing my studies so when i entered college i was really focused on learning language uh, and my, the, the way my interest in Japanese culture kept going was uh, I was meeting these artist friends who are Japanese in New York City and kind of learning from them. I was reading a lot of Japanese books in Japanese and forcing myself to learn. And also I really liked Japanese music. There's a lot of instrumental bands like uh, Toe and Mouse on the Keys from Japan and also Boris who I, I really liked. I still like those bands uh, that just influenced me to keep my interest in Japanese culture going. So there was, so I think the main reason was at my job, I, I wasn't really doing anything too interesting. I was working at an insurance company and I was using my Japanese, but I didn't, I wasn't really growing at the company or that much as a person at a certain point, I'd say. So I kind of figured I've studied this language. I'm, I'm not fluent, but I'm almost fluent and I'm confident in it. So I was like, okay, let's, I'm 20, I'm about to turn 26. Let's just do something interesting with my life. Like let's do something cool take a risk. So I came to Japan when I was 26. I, I started working at a, a cryptocurrency company in Osaka. After working at that company for three months, um, the company got hacked and lost $60 million. You can probably look it up. It's not one of the big famous ones, but um, my company basically failed because of that. The police interviewed everyone at our company, including me. So I've been interviewed by the cybersecurity police of Osaka for two hours. It was just funny being in a room, being able to respond in Japanese to all these questions. 
after my police interview, walking out of the police headquarters, seeing Osaka Castle, and I'm like, I'm fluent in Japanese. No one can ever say I can't speak Japanese because I just did that for two hours. So that was a good experience. <laughs> That's a pretty good experience. My impression of Tokyo before was that it's a really work-based culture and it's all about work more than anything. And now that I've come here, my impression is it, I, like confirmed, I'd say. My, it's, a very, it's a very worked culture, but at the same time, I think a lot of people, especially creative people, work really hard here. And there's a lot more opportunities to do creative work. It can be complicated sometimes, but there's also a really rich art community and music community, and there's so many different things to do here. I'll see people like crouch together, smoking cigarettes in a parking lot, or drinking on the sidewalk, or people doing nampa, or people like just laughing in just like huge groups of tourists. And I just see like, what the way I think about it is it's like this controlled chaos. Like Tokyo is, is a really safe city. It's a really safe place actually. And there's all this chaos going on inside it, but it's like, controlled where it's it's okay it's like you're probably gonna be fine um and that has a big influence on me um i just seeing how all these people are coming to this place in tokyo specifically um from other parts of the world um in other parts of japan and most people they're coming here kind of like it's new york like most of the time they have a dream of something they want to do or they want to improve their life so they, they're coming from somewhere else kind of like what i did also the feel and the smell of the city like Shibuya smells awful, right? It smells awful. And all the concrete, like there's not there's not a plant to be seen anywhere, but it's still so clean. And again, everyone is kind of like able to work in these this kind of small areas in this controlled chaos to live their lives. It's super fascinating. It's interesting being a minority in Japan. Um, but at the same time, like nothing nearly as bad has happened to me as some of the things that happened in my home country to minorities. So I like, I, I'm very grateful to live here. It's a very, very nice country. Um, it's very easy to live my life here, especially if you speak the language, I'd say like, so I, I'm enjoying my, my life here.